Good day, legends. I hope you're all fantastic. On today's video, we are going to take a quick look at this Enya Guitars Nova Go, this curious little beast. So it is a carbon fiber half size guitar. It's got a 23 inch ish scale on there. So it kind of feels like a full size guitar to play. This version that they sent me is the version with the built in pickup system. So you've got this single knob on here. In general, I really like the minimalist aesthetic that they've got going on here. And you can see because of the materials they're using to construct the guitar, they can get in and give you things that other acoustic guitars couldn't like extended upper fret access on there. The overall fit and finish on the nut and the frets is pretty glorious, as good as anything that I've seen at like two or three times the price on here. This is pretty close to what my idea of like a signature acoustic instrument would look like if it was gonna be a half size instrument. I love the matte black. I love that there's no markers on here, super minimalist on there. There's some interesting features on this, namely the built-in pickup system and Bluetooth access, which we'll check out. But first, I wanna give you some clips of this mic'd up very simply with my Sennheiser MD421 straight into an interface with a tiny little bit of reverb on there, just so you can get an idea of what it sounds like as an acoustic instrument. <laughs> In a pickup system just runs off here. You've got a single jack, a USB-C cable to charge it up, and then a single knob over here. I should have mentioned as well, you have this interesting little kind of side hole, not a top hole. It's kind of on the top because it's close to your chin. Reminds me a lot of the way my headway acoustic guitar works. So the idea is you've kind of got this little listening station right here. It also comes with a pretty sweet little case on here, which kind of feels almost like it's made out of a wetsuit material. And this together with the overall construction on here means that it's pretty weatherproof and they are billing it as a travel guitar. For me, it's more of just a convenient guitar that you can kind of grab whether you want to go traveling or whether you want to go and do a low key gig. So let's hear some very basic sounds out of the built in pickup system. Now I'm going to start off with just a little kind of solo jam over some keyboard pads so that you can hear the built in reverb delay. And what I'm guessing is like a uni vibe or a rotary style speaker sound.
sounds using the app. It connects to your guitar via Bluetooth. You just have to make sure the guitar is plugged in via the quarter inch cable that will basically turn everything on. I'm going to hit connect in the app. It will detect the little guitar and then it connects very quickly, which I'm pretty stoked with. You can see you've got those four factory sounds as we heard earlier, but you can get in and save custom sounds and create your own over here. So if you go to create, you can see you've got a little mixer section to control Bluetooth audio playback, the line out and the overall effect level. Let's go to effects and we can actually activate several of these at the same time. So I've got the reverb on at the moment. Let's hear that. I can bring the overall reverb level up on that. Could add some echo to that if I like. Maybe let's go for 300-ish milliseconds. I can also set the number of repeats on there as well. modulation effect that we talked about before is actually a chorus. I've just turned the speed down. I'm going to turn the depth up a little bit. You've also got a built-in compressor wire and then overdrive and distortion. The overdrive and distortion I think is generally a pretty bad idea on an instrument like this. Plugging in an acoustic guitar with overdrive and distortion normally just ends in a big howling mess full of feedback. So I'm not going to go through that and, you know, overdrive without some kind of impulse response or something like that or an amplifier generally sounds pretty awful. But I find the compressor incredibly useful on here as well as the EQ section on here. You can see I've just kind of boosted up a little bit of 2K and pulled out some of this kind of woofy 125 in there. I might even just boost up a little bit of extra high end in there and then I'll turn the compressor on here to have a listen to what it does. <laughs> reverb, a little bit of chorus and compression on there generally makes acoustic guitar that little bit easier to play live. It's kind of nice having those accessible on the app. The EQ, I think, would definitely need a little bit more tweaking depending on the playback system you're using. I'm just going straight DI into my interface at home here. So a little bit more time on this and I could hit save on this particular preset over here and name it. Like I just call it like AC because AC for acoustic, right? Um, and then I've got that one on instant recall whenever I want it. I could load that into the guitar as one of the stock settings as well, which is pretty nifty. Overall, the actual instrument I'm pretty impressed with. Like I said earlier in the video, the detail on the nut and the fret work is very nice. And it's something that I would expect on an instrument maybe two to three times the price. The overall fit and finish is pretty flawless in general. It's lightweight, it's balanced, and most importantly, it sounds good and it's easy to play. Any kind of smart instrument, I think, first has to do the normal primary instrument functions first and the smart stuff. Second, the smart stuff, as I kind of demonstrated briefly, is pretty straightforward. To me, it's stuff that is more going to appeal to intermediate or beginner players hobbyists or people who are learning guitar and they just want to be able to get some basic sounds without too much fuss on here. I love that you can recharge the battery with a USB-C cable over here. I really hope that becomes the standard on all piezo equipped guitars out there because 
dead batteries have got me in the past and you know it's a lot easier to just plug in a USB cable than it is to have to run down to the pharmacy or to the corner store and get a nine volt battery, especially on like a Sunday afternoon when nothing is open here in Perth. The added bonus of the way this is constructed as well, I do a lot of gigs where I'm sweating a lot and there is a lot of heat, you know, Perth in summer for anybody who has visited, you know, it's hot and sweaty. So that's kind of an added bonus over a wood guitar and why I'm going to use it for a bunch more of the acoustic gigs that I do. I can leave my nice acoustics at home in a temperature controlled environment and take this. It's small, it's compact, you know, it is billed as a travel guitar, but for me, I'm just going to use it as a compact gigging guitar. Now, the main question with the built-in stuff and whether it is worth the extra cost, I think is going to come down to your use case. The version of this without the pickup is considerably cheaper. I think it's under 200 US dollars on Amazon. And if you're getting the same instrument for that much money, I think that is an absolute steal. If you're more of a kind of established player or a pro player, I would say probably grab that and maybe fit a pickup system to it. You might get a little bit more use out of that. If you are solely going to use it as a travel guitar, as an acoustic, I think that would be the way to go. But the built-in pickup sounds no worse than any of the other built-in pickups that I've heard on guitars like this at similar prices or even more. So yeah, my thoughts there on the Enya Nova Go. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. You can check the video description for more information. And also you can support my channel using the links in the video description. Hope you all have a great day. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.